you also did a uh, a talk about how to make your soundtrack sound bigger than the budget. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's <laughs> and what what can you what can you say about it? It was at the, the Dutch game uh, day, I believe it was. Yeah, uh, paired with the, the Dutch game awards, and you did a long talk for this. Yeah, I've done that talk a couple of times now, and. Yeah, that, this is this is a bit awkward to me because this is way more your special uh, specialization. But it's interesting to see that um, I felt I was taking a risk with that talk. You know, like everybody knows how this works. Yeah, and I never got so much uh, uh, feedback and so many people. Said, oh, this was so interesting, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we didn't know how it works, <laughs> and um, so I just basically show them what we do as composers and how a virtual um, uh, virtual orchestra really works. And, you know, like adding uh, big choirs to it and how that, and, 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 and you know, like the, the brass coming in and you know, all, all the ostinato strings and then play together and then, you know, like, sitting in the audience and, and suddenly you have this wall of music coming at you. <laughs> and I, I literally showed them my workstation, the, the, the screen, the uh, doll as we call it, and the notes I was uh, uh, writing and then layer for layer, how we build uh, something like that. And also to show uh, other game developers that you know, like, if you want an orchestral soundtrack, that's not necessarily a hundred thousand euros uh, from your budget. Because yes, professional. It sorry. could be. It could be. It could be. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Depends uh, how far you want to take it. Yeah. Uh, if whenever you can work with a real orchestra, always do it. Go always. It. Yeah. But um, you know, like professional musicians will hear the difference, definitely. But if you only have, you know, like some soloists, you know, like a cello or a violist uh, who you record live, and then the rest is from your uh, virtual orchestra, most players, like 95%, will not notice the difference. Not only because it, uh, a virtual orchestra can be really lifelike, but it's underneath the rest of the soundscape. Yeah. It's underneath... Uh, all the interactivity. Uh, the player isn't just paying attention to the music. The music is there to enhance the experience. So to have that uh, orchestral, in some cases, it's you know, like it can really add to the experience of uh, of the game as a whole. Yeah, it's very result driven. So if you say the result is or this is what we want to achieve. And sometimes what you're saying is right. Like if you want to aim on that 5% that maybe here's that bigger part, that's a uh, very expensive 5%. Yeah. If you want to reach the audience before that, um, you can actually mimic that a lot with virtual instruments. And yeah. it doesn't have to cost that much to get there. So yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Hey there, I appreciate you watching the video. If you like this one, check out this video or that video. If you want to support the channel, make sure to click on top of my head on the logo and subscribe to the channel.